Behold the Porsche 911 GT3. 500 horsepower, 4 litres of naturally aspirated flat 6, and a red line at 9,000 RPM. Wonderful, isn't it? The sound, the steering, the speed it generates, it is all glorious. But there's one particular thing about this car that makes it not only glorious, but important. You see, history will show that this is the generation of GT3 in which Porsche decided to reintroduce the manual gearbox. In the first generation of 991 GT3, Porsche said that a manual was no longer appropriate. But customers said otherwise. And to their credit, Weissach listened. The question is, why did people miss the manual? Why did I miss the manual? Here's why. Fundamentally, the manual heightens your awareness and interaction with almost every facet of the car. It adds a very distinct layer of tactility. And a manual gearbox can amplify your sense of speed. For example... Fifth to six. Simple. As easy as pulling a paddle. But try making that same shift at 8,000 RPM and over 150 miles an hour. Not taking a hand off the wheel doesn't feel so easy. Compelled to steer with just one hand magnifies the forces you're controlling. But even at low speed, you can enjoy a downshift. Or an upshift, for that matter. The manual gearbox is very egalitarian like that. You don't have to possess nerves of steel or the car control of Ari Vatanen to appreciate a nice gear shift. Every stop or junction you come to, there's that balancing act between left and right foot to slowly bring the plates together. My favourite shift? The one to third, in a regular five or six speed H pattern. I love the feeling of the springing helping you across the gate on the way up, and then the punch forward from fourth on the way down. Why do I say that? Because you can't really have a favourite shift with a paddle shift, can you? First to second, second to third, fifth back to fourth, they're all the same with paddles. And each gear shift, of course, has its own character. And there have been some wonderful ones over the years. From an S2000 snickety little lever to BMW's distinctive knuckly feel to the clack clack of an open gated Ferrari box to the brutal slickness of a dog box. Each one imbues the car with a distinctive character that you can sense from the first exploratory waggle to check for neutral. And this GT3 six speed now feels like one of the best too. One to savour. But a paddle shift is quicker, people say. To that, I would say that instant isn't always better. Is rev matching. Healing and towing you will break you at the same time. Again, it's something you can enjoy anywhere, anytime. Think of that last gasp down change when you're hard on the brakes heading into a corner. PDK? Easy. Manual? Now you're controlling the steering with one hand and the braking only gets half a foot as you try not to unbalance the car by matching the revs. All four limbs are involved. And involvement is the critical word when considering why the manual shift has survived, why it should be treasured. With a manual, you just feel more intimately connected with the engine. You have to listen to the revs. Be aware of how it's revving. It asks more of you. But it also rewards more deeply. all those other reasons, that's why I love the manual gearbox.